And one of the world's biggest exhibitions on nanotechnology is underway here in South Korea. It's called Nano Korea and shows how the technology is in the products we use already and those we will almost certainly be using in the future. Our Chairman Jung went to check it out and files this report. South Korea is currently hosting one of the world's top nanotechnology exhibitions. The 20th International Nanotech Symposium and Exhibition, also dubbed Nano Korea 2022, is a global forum for people to witness South Korea's latest developments in nanotechnology. The annual event is hosted by the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy and the Ministry of Science and ICT. Participation at this year's is back to pre-pandemic levels with more than 340 companies involved. Nanotechnology is science that's really small, but it plays a very big part in our daily lives. It's being used across many different fields, from the energy sector and healthcare to inside your phone. One of the major companies participating in the event is Samsung Electronics, which has on display some of the products we use in our everyday lives that's developed using nanotechnology. The big problem we used to have with smartphones was not being able to waterproof the speakers and microphones. But Samsung solved this by using nanofiber technology. Nanofiber is a fiber, but it's nano size, so air can pass through it, but not water. Now, most smartphones are developed using this technology. LG is also known for its so-called nano in-plane switching technology. Nanoparticles are applied to gaming monitors where they absorb excess unnecessary light wavelengths, resulting in richer color expression. Not only does it result in ultra-sharp clarity, but also faster response time. Small and medium-sized companies also use nanotechnology to create products that can help South Korea's goal of achieving carbon neutrality. This transparent nanoparticle film helps save energy by blocking heat from passing through the windows of cars and buildings, potentially cutting down on air conditioning use. And this heat panel developed with nanocarbon technology quickly warms up an area with a limited use of energy. The government says that nanotechnology must be continuously advanced in order for South Korea to take the lead in future core fields such as semiconductors, biotechnology and carbon neutrality. Officials say they will work towards that by making sure the country has the latest technology, expanding infrastructure and encouraging cooperation between companies. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.